Hello, my name is Andrea and I am a caregiver for my lovely mother. My mom is currently living with dementia, which is also known as memory loss. I use this channel to share tips, strategies, share my experiences that I gain each day along my caregiving journey. No two days are the same. Hence, I find it very, very important to build a community around caregiving. My channel is geared towards persons who are taking care of their loved ones and persons who are caring for others professionally. I love inviting others who wish to come on and share their caregiving experiences with me on this channel. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments. I truly appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hello to all my YouTube families and friends. Thanks again for joining me in another episode of my caregiving journey. So today I have none other than a special family friend, Sheldon, who is here with me and we're going to wrap a bit just about caregiving. Sheldon has not been a hands-on caregiver, but he does have somebody who he treasures and values very well. Um, in the form of his mother who is caregiving for a younger brother and I'm gonna hand over the, the microphone to Sheldon yeah, So my brother has sickle cell Got um, basically a stroke at one and then got a second one at three Based on that um, his whole left side has been incapacitated so he's unable to use mm -hmm. the left side and so, that has left him wheelchair bound, right? Wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that's his, that was as when he's three and now he's 46 years old. So wow. um, she has been taking care of him for 43 years. So it wow. is a long and I mean, it's, it's kind of tedious. And I know it has taken a toll on her. So what we tried to do was to... Um, get a professional caregiver to come in on three days to assist her with um, dealing with him because um, you know the caregiver needs to have, get a break and be in a, in a what, what do you call a, a peaceful place because it's not easy to deal with somebody that's, that's not moving, can't take care of themselves, mm -hmm, can't do anything mm -hmm. and it gets kind of frustrating. So during my teenage years I had to deal with him and it's not easy, I know. So in terms of lifting him, moving him, feeding him, it takes mm. a toll. So that's one of the, the ways we thought that we could best help her out by giving her a break on those days. Wow. What other emotional support does the family give in terms of um, like giving her like probably a day off or something? I don't know if you mm. guys have you as brothers have implemented anything like that you know taking just going visiting and taking control giving her a deal out at the spa or anything have you considered anything like that just to give her a, a break a vacation yes, we have but knowing her she's not she's that kind of hands-on person and she don't necessarily want to leave the responsibility up to us mm -hmm. but yes we have suggested that and we have done that on several days but she doesn't want to leave for too long so you know she'll take hours mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. but in terms two three days no she's not really into that generally anywhere she's going she would like it if he could come so wow. if she's going to the hotel or she's going to whatever she's trying to strategize to get away that he comes along with her okay and that's mm -hmm. understandable yesterday i was in a session um support group session and while we were in there a question was posed to all the participants by the host or what's the best advice did any of us get along our caregiving journey and how has it impacted us and everybody in the session thought about the situation because I, I don't even remember what I said but it had to do with taking care of mommy 
and at the end when he heard all the good suggestions and we thought they were great and everybody was raving about each other's suggestion the host said to us I didn't hear anybody mention to mm -hmm. me about taking care of you yourself and I was like wow and now I'm hearing Sheldon and I'm thinking that this is something that he probably needs to say to his mom as well. She needs to take care of herself. And as, yeah, you know, sons coming up, helping another brother, mm -hmm. it would be something that they have to insist um, in how they, I mean, try to help their mom to take care of of their brother who cannot take care of himself I mean most definitely and if you take into consideration her age where she's at now or age mm -hmm. maybe the time is coming there we need to transition her, her out of that and mm -hmm. one of us move into that situation of mm -hmm. being the constant caregiver because she's getting up in age and, yeah. and as, as I said 43 years that's a lot a lot of time yeah and, and a lot of commitment and a lot of effort so yeah definitely and when I when I thought about Sheldon's brother you know I've seen so many persons in recent days that have had a stroke and has been wheelchair bound or bound to a walker or walking with a cane so we know that some of us are at this stage it doesn't matter age anyway because as he said his brother had a stroke at age one and then another one at age three which left him wheelchair bound and can't help himself so um it's something that no matter what each and every one of us has to consider yes definitely it's yeah. a possibility and the older you get um, depending on your nutrition, your, your, your issues that you might have from a hereditary standpoint, you're getting closer to that point. So there is a possibility at any time. Mm -hmm. And you never know, you might be in an accident, you never know yes, what might happen. Yes, so, yes. you know, it's something that you need to think about and be conscious of. Very much so. Thanks Sheldon for coming. But before I go, I wanted to leave a Bible verse with you. And it comes from... 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 which says but if anyone does not provide for his relatives and especially for members of his household he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever <laughs> not saying not saying not heavy. saying that, that yeah that's that's real heavy but what I can I can remind everybody that the Bible is, is a book that it transcends all time every situation no matter what you read in that Bible you can come back and read it and next season and it means it has a different meaning so that's why I like sharing the, the Bible verses as I go along on my channel yes, definitely. Thank and, you. and oh. no matter what it is it seems like it's 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 always applicable to your situation now amen yes, amen always. to that mm -hmm. that's an amen thanks so much um sheldon thanks for having me thanks for joining me on this journey and i want to encourage you before i go to love your loved ones in a way that they will appreciate it and they will they'll be able to feel the love from you at this time before it's too late most definitely. Walk good and have a beautiful rest of your week or weekend. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>